Big video to do today, Ian. We're gonna tackle the million dollar question. The big debate in photography. The big debate. I suppose you could say, we're gonna have a mass debate. Don't say it. Oh. We're gonna give the answer to the number one photography question. Yes. I suppose you might say this is the photography equivalent to the chicken and the egg question. Oh, I see, chicken and egg, yes. So you want to know what I want on my sandwiches at dinner time? No, 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 that's just an analogy. I don't care what car you drives, I ain't going in it with your with egg sandwiches, it'll blooming stink. Just forget the sandwiches for a minute, all right? No, I can't forget the sandwiches. I'll be still having by 12 o'clock. I ain't no good, Phil, if I misses me dinner. Look, forget the chicken, forget the egg, forget the sandwiches, just well, forget everything. Let's start again. The big question in photography, and you know what that is? Yes. The big question, the really big question. Oh, ah, yes. Which is? Oh, a very big question. You don't know, do you? I ain't got a clue. The most asked question in photography is, does gear really matter? Nope, still ain't got a clue. Well, it's an age old question, isn't it? But ultimately, is the quality of your gear when you're taking a photo more important than how much photographic knowledge you've got? I don't know. What's the answer? Well, in my opinion, the answer's no. Yes. No. Yes. Well, what kind of answer is that? That's no and yes, aid. You're yeah, sitting on the fence. What I'm trying to say is it really depends on what bit of the photographic journey you're on. Oh, we're going on a journey, am we? Great. I hope it's better than that last journey you took me on. Ended up snowing and I'd taken me trunks. I thought it was going to be hot day, I? No, not a real journey. No, oh, it's a pretend journey like when you're learning to drive the car and you sit on the sofa, you know, and you... No, just listen for a second. When you start off taking pictures, I think it's really, really important that you're inspired, that you feel creative, that things aren't overwhelming, that you create some really nice pictures. And to do that, I think you need uh, to be shooting on a camera that does everything for you. That is completely automatic. So you haven't got to worry about all the stuff going on with exposure and shutter speeds and ISOs and, and, and apertures and everything. No, you can just concentrate on taking the picture. And when you like the pictures, you'll be inspired and you want to do more and you'll get a real taste uh, a real buzz for taking pictures. And I think that's really important in the beginning. You know, a mobile phone is good enough to get you going uh, as long as, as you're creating, as, as you're getting a, a real kick out of taking pictures. Good, them big cameras with all them buttons and knobs and dials frightens me. So I can do it on my mobile, can I? That's all I need, is it? Ah, well, I think you do need a better camera when you go on to the second stage of photography because after that beginner stage, you're going to want to start learning. And when you want to start learning, you're going, to, you're going to learn about lenses and you're going to learn about flash guns and you're going to learn about shutter speeds and, and apertures and how they all affect the image. And you're going to want to start putting that into practice. And it's no good if your camera doesn't allow you to change the aperture or change the shutter speed or, 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 or the ISO. So at the second stage of photography, I think gear really does matter because you've got to have the ability to go manual. You're gonna to have to have the ability to experiment, learn new techniques and become a better photographer. So at that stage, yeah, gear matters. So the camera gear does matter then. I wish you would make your mind up. Well, yes for now, except when you go on to the next stage of photography, the experienced photographer. Well, actually, I don't think gear matters for them too much. I think you'll find a lot of experienced photographers who have learned techniques, who know what lenses do. Actually, they kind of tend to like the challenge of, of going out with, with minimal kit, with an iPhone or, or just a little compact camera. They, they've had perhaps a few years of, of chugging around with, with big camera bodies and, and big lenses, and, and now they like the idea of, of just traveling light and really pushing what they've got to the extreme, using their photographic knowledge rather than the camera. And so I don't think gear matters in the third stage of experienced photographers. Um, I, I really don't think it's as important to them as, as experimenting with their, their knowledge. 
So you can sell all your cameras then if you don't need them anymore. Make a few bob. Ah, well, hang on to that kit for now because you might be wanting to trade it in. And that's because the last level of photography, the expert or professional level photography, well, kit really does matter then, doesn't it? Because when you get to the top level, you're going to want to be producing the absolute best that you can. And, and particularly with lenses, uh, it's going to come down to, uh, you know, the quality of the glass uh, on the front. Because, you know, when you know what to do, when you know how to handle every situation, every lighting, when you know the relationship between ISOs and shutter speeds and apertures, you can push the camera to its extreme and the thing that's going to make a difference is the quality of the glass, the quality you're capturing, the megapixels, the, um, uh, you know, just the quality of the processes in the camera. So at that final stage, yeah, gear matters. So let me see if I got this right. When you start, it don't make a difference what camera you got. And then when you gets a bit better, it does make a difference what camera you got. And then... When you're on better still, it don't make any difference what camera you got. And then, when you're home an expert, it does make a difference what camera you got. Yep, you've got it. Well, Sherlock, I'm glad you uncovered the answer to that. Bottom line is, it just isn't really as straightforward as a yes and no answer. Nothing's easy with you, is it? I tell you what, yo makes my head spin sometimes. It's a gift. Right then, I'm glad we've sorted that out. Oh, I'm feeling a bit peckish now after all that thinking. What about one of them egg sandwiches you was talking about? Please leave me a comment in the comments section down below if you really think gear is that important. And also, if you've got a second, if you could give me a like, I'd be really grateful. It does help me to grow the channel. Now, if you'd like to watch a video about some great gear, click on these reviews I've done here.